So today we are going to read a story, the sparrow and the kingfisher. Okay, let's read it all together. So as you can see the pictures on this book, you can observe there's a tree, there's a log of wood. There are stones and there are some mushrooms also and there is a pond. Okay. Once a big tree was home to a large host of sparrows. The tree was next to a small river which had many fishes. A kingfisher came to the river every day to quench its thirst and eat fishes. Okay. Mm. So... Sitting on the tree, a little sparrow watched Kingfisher dive into the river and come out holding a fish. What fun the Kingfisher had diving in the cool water and catching fishes. The, still, the little sparrow thought each time she saw the Kingfisher. So whenever uh, this sparrow used to watch the Kingfisher dive into the water and get a fish out of it, the sparrow used to get happy and delighted and excited. She used to say, Wow, the kingfisher is having a fun. She's ha the kingfisher is handsome. Yes, kingfisher is also handsome. The little sparrow did not like flying here and there, looking for grains and seeds for food. She too felt like diving in the river and catching fishes. But she might hurt her beak and her wing. Yes, so the little sparrow, she was lazy. She didn't want to go and get food and search for food here and there. So she thought, let me try to dive into the water. She said, goo, goo, ga, ga. Yes. Why can't we catch fishes like the kingfisher? The little sparrow asked her friends. We are sparrows. We are not like kingfishers. We are different and cannot dive in the river, one of her friends explained to her. So while these two sparrows, the baby sparrow and her friend, they are talking, and the baby sparrow is telling her friend that I also want to have fish like kingfisher and dive into the water. But her friend told her that we are different. We are not like kingfisher. Kingfisher has got a big beak. He has got a good flight. So the kingfisher can easily dive into the river and take a fish out but we are not meant to do so the little sparrow was convinced was not convinced they all are scared of water but i am not so she thought that day she went near the river and gently dipped one wing in water she loved touching the cool water and felt good too so she was thinking of going into the water and she came near the water and just dipped herself in the water her one wing he she dipped it into the water and she loved touching the cool water and she also was happy next day she decided to fly up in the air and dive in the river just like Kingfisher she flew high up and then came down with a high speed but she lost her control in the air. My goodness, now this little sparrow, she thought that she can be the kingfisher. So she flew high in the air and she came down, 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 thinking that she can get control of herself. But she couldn't control herself because of the air. Splash! She fell into the river and broke, one, broke off one of her wings. And her beak. The other sparrows somehow managed to pull her out for many days. She could not fly. Look at her, poor fellow. She got hurt. For many days, she could not fly and sat on the tree with bandages, watching other birds flying happily in the air. The moral of the story is, imitating without thinking of consequences can be dangerous. Okay. Why do we go in the dangerous 